Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Simran Chaudhary, and I welcome you all on behalf of Voice of Healthcare to our fourth edition of Not Just a Dog, honoring hope in healing, recognizing the caregivers to celebrate National Doctors' Day. And to celebrate this day, we have with us Dr. Manisha Mendiratta, Associate Director and Head of Pulmonology at Sarvodaya Healthcare, Faridabad. Welcome to our show, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. Thank you and congratulations on National Doctors' Day. Thank you so much. So, ma'am, this year we are celebrating the fourth edition of Not Just a Dog, which is an extraordinary celebration dedicated to showcasing the remarkable efforts of our doctors and expressing our heartfelt appreciation for their selfless service. And with this campaign, we aim to celebrate doctors beyond their profession. We would like to know more about their hobbies, liking, dislikings, and what all do they do apart from their medical practice. So starting with what inspired you to pursue a career in medicine and how do you balance your professional and personal life? See, uh, I think since I have been grown up or I have realized that what are the career options for us, I have been telling people that my family wants. Papa kehte hai doctor banna and that how that thing got inculcated in me and that was the only option and the dream I could have seen at that time. And yes, uh, thankfully, I could pursue it with all my ded dedication and good wishes. And balancing personal uh, and professional life, yes, for doctors, it's a little difficult. Rather, I will not say difficult. Because, uh, yes, you are on the job for 24 hours. We cannot say that now working hours are over. But uh, this, if you love your work, if you love your work, then it won't be a much of problem for you as such. The family accepts it. You'll have to make them understand. Like for kids also, we have been telling them since they're born that we are the doctors first and then became your parents. So I think they're okay. If the night is playing the phone, then the kids say, Mom, you have to go to the bell. So even the family has accepted that. And so it goes with the flow once everyone and the environment is favorable for you. That's great, Mama. Family support matters a lot. And the most important thing is kids at home understand that urgency and emergency. So nothing else can be better. That makes things easy for us. Yeah. And can you share a hobby or interest that you're passionate about outside your medical practice? So, uh, most importantly, I love my work. So, I am okay working uh, and uh, spending most of my time with my patients. But apart from that, yes, I like uh, running. And uh, I'm very fond of yoga. So if you don't find me in the hospital or at home, then I would be in some park running or doing my yoga. So that keeps uh, that health part and my hobby uh, connected. So it's fitness and hobby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Now, what book, movie, or music album had made a significant impact on you and, and why it has impacted? So, uh, I am very fond of reading spiritual books. But uh, initially, the book that impacted me was Alchemist. So, uh, basically, pursuing your dreams, working hard, or I would say, running after your dreams and whatever it takes to follow them and uh, target your uh, dreams and aspirations uh, that that inspired me that is actually a great book ma'am the stories they tell the dreams they have how a person is determined dedicated towards and how it, it motivates us to be dedicated and determined towards our dream so whatever you aspire for you actually yeah. get the universe yes. is there Someone is hearing you and seeing you working hard. So what do you enjoy most about interacting with your patients on a personal level? And how does this enhance your medical practice? 
personal basis yes definitely because uh, the patients come to us in pain hmm. so they have so much negative energies or pain in them we need to absorb them and we have to face them smile agar wo aap se roke bole aur aap bolo ki aur kuch batana hai to batao then they will not be able to and you will not be able to make a diagnosis so i think most of the diagnosis come from the history and for that you need to spend some time with the patients so listening to them and at times um, aaj aap pehle se zyada udaas lag rahe ho ghar pe kuch baat hui kya so everybody would like that uh, tender touch or your uh, interest or i would say keenness to know about them uh, give them that a uh, good bonding that a patient and doctor needs for the treatment outcome also and and i think that helps doctor to understand better about a patient about that that you said it helps yeah. in, in better diagnosis yeah it makes things comparatively easy because if you ask a patient uh, since i am a pulmonologist we would always ask saans theek ho raha hai ki nahi ho raha and patient says ha main ho raha hai but then you talk to them how many times you take nebulizer session who helps in you in nebulization and gradually mm-hmm. they'll say ghar pe koi nahi hota hai to koi nebulize nahi kara pata and this is how we miss it so spending time definitely gives us uh, some references or the idea about their circumstances and accordingly if there is any change in the treatment required we can do that and and i think that's that's how it helps doctors to understand their patients better but thank you so much ma'am for sharing your journey your some personal insights with us and thank you so much for coming to our show and congratulations on national doctors day again thank you so much and i appreciate the initiative you all have taken thank you thank you so much thank you